First on Fox, two New Zealand mosques reopened today. This is just one week after a lone gunman opened fire on worshipers. Police stood by as hundreds of people came to pray and pay their respects. Among them, some of the dozens of people who were wounded that day and the families of those who died. Thousands also marched the streets of Christ Church in solidarity. And since this attack, New Zealand has been on high alert and has already changed its gun laws. Now back here at home, Portlanders honored and mourned the lives lost in that shooting with a vigil in Pioneer Courthouse Square. Our Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz was there tonight. She joins us now live in downtown Portland with a look at that gathering. Sarah. Well, good evening, Bonnie. You know, that crowd who gathered here earlier tonight in Pioneer Square took part in a communal gathering, not only to remember the lives lost in New Zealand, but they also touched on the importance and the greater need for humanity to reconnect with one another. It started with Muslim prayer and a look at each one of the victims. Farhaj Ahsan, 30 years old. Each name of the 50 killed in mosque shootings in New Zealand read aloud in a somber circle. Suhail Shahid, age 36. I want people to be connected to each other. I want them to know each other. I want them to know the people whose lives have been lost. We, the people of the earth, we have to decide which way are we going to go. The crowd spent time talking, meeting new faces, and a collective appreciation for humanity. And for some, like this Muslim family who came to the U.S. as refugees from Iraq in 2008, well, they feel the pain of the Muslim community. But they say that this is a larger issue than just one group of people. That's why we are here today, to support, to support each, each other. Each other. And so I like it doesn't to, matter if Muslim or not. It doesn't matter, like if it's Muslim, uh, Christian, Jewish, who died. It's a humanity. It's, it's, it's you know, somebody... I know or somebody, brother or friend of mine, it doesn't matter if he's, you know, religion or culture or whatever. That's the sentiment many expressed who weren't Muslim but wanted to be present and supportive. Being here was, was, was a way for me to try to show love for my Muslim brothers and sisters in the community and solidarity with them. I have a couple of friends in the Muslim community, people I work with and love very much. I've been to weddings and I, I they're people I care very deeply for, and I feel like they have the right to live in peace. We have the right to live in peace. We're all a community. And local Muslims did organize and lead this ceremony tonight, and dozens of people did attend tonight as well. Reporting live here in downtown Portland tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.